Okay, my friends, in this video, I'm going to begin to prime my canvas and lay out or block in the colors, just like I did in the in-class demo. Um, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with this um, instead of water, it's, this is called an airbrush medium. I'm going to start putting that on instead of water um, to begin to prime the canvas. And I'm going to use this yellow ochre. Uh, to prime my canvas. So I'm going to put that to the side and mix it in. And I'm going to use this as the, as the basis of my, my painting. I'm just going to cover the whole canvas with it. And then let it dry. And then I'm going to go in and begin to uh, redefine the objects, redraw them, and then lay in the colors. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. To quickly dry this, I went ahead and used the air uh, or the blow dryer to dry this quickly. If you know me, I don't like to work on tacky surfaces that aren't quite dry. I do like to work wet into wet or wet over dry. If I was painting in oil, I would have primed it and it would have been fine if it was wet. And I would start to draw with the paint. I would have done air, all the sketching myself in oil because I can erase and move it around. Now because I'm working in acrylic and it dries pretty quickly, I decided to draw out the image and then uh, prime it and that will kind of seal it in and now I'll go over it again to reaffirm my drawing and start to lay out the colors. The brushes that I'm mostly going to use are my bristle brushes and also the uh, the big brush that I've been using to uh, um, cast everything in uh, to lay everything out. So I'm going to just lay out some of my colors at this point. Um, I'm going to use a lot of white, but for my line, I'm going to use, I'm going to put more of that in there because there's a lot here. I'm going to use uh, burnt umber. And you can mix uh, a lot of your colors together to get a brown color. So I'm going to be using that to do a lot of my line. I'm going to use a little bit of black, not a whole lot. Uh, mainly black will cool off my colors. I don't want to get too black uh, too quickly. And because some of my objects are red, I'm going to add a little bit of red in this as well. And a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow. So I'll have all of these kind of worked out. of light cool colors because I have a lot of white in this painting. So I'm going to start laying out 